You really sure you want to do this here? We need to have it out with him. That was quick. Maybe because they had nothing to charge me with? What, so they just let you go scot-free? They didn't do me for theft, if that's what you're hoping. Driving without an HGV licence? Uh. Well, what can I say? It's not that I don't like you, Joe. Oh, wait. Hang on a minute. <laughs> it is. Why did the police keep on insisting that I'd stolen a truck that I already own? Because you don't own it. You see, you own half a company, Joe. You just don't own half of this company. Do you want to know what you own half of? This. You see, me and Jimmy own Home James Haulage, whereas me and you own Home James Trucks, which is a totally different company that I registered yesterday. You didn't read the paperwork very well, did you? Oh, yeah, Jimmy's been in on it. He's been in on it ever since he came round to my house the other day and accused me of all sorts. And then guess what? We sat down together calmly and we worked it out. Oh, and by the way, we found that CCTV camera you uh, rigged up. Weirdo. Enjoy watching us, boys, did you? <laughs> we had a right laugh about that. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> You've been had, Joe. I'll uh, leave you boys to lick your wounds, eh? Well, this has been fun. Oh, so, um, which half of Home James Trucks would you like? Not bothered? No? Here, have that then. Shall I make a new bottle for Seb? What's the point? He hardly touched the last one. <laughs> Meaning he's probably still hungry. I know my own baby. I'll check on the food. I'll ring Robert again. Yeah, make sure he gets here. Where the hell have you been? I had some business to attend to. <clears throat> uh, Bex, there's a problem with the chicken. It's burnt to a frazzle. Well, yeah, it is on top, but then inside it's still raw. You, you turn the grill on instead of the oven. I don't mind going veggie for today. Yeah, all man. Well, I do. How could I turn the grill on? It's easily done. But I keep doing stupid things, don't I? Like, all the time. I can't even get drinks orders right in the pub. I won't worry about that. Maybe I need help. Pegs, it's just a chicken. Vic, my own baby doesn't even live with me because everybody here knows that I'm not capable of looking after him. Ooh, somebody looks in a bad mood. You're a fool, Jimmy. Not fool enough to accept your offer. <laughs> Ten grand for his share of the business. Somebody was having a laugh. Not as big a laugh as I was having yesterday with him running around after me. Oh, by the way, that Dom Perignon, very nice. The caviar I could take or leave, but the smoked salmon was excellent. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if you're both still laughing when you're on trial for criminal damages. Huh? The demolition order he signed. What demolition order? The one that enabled the bulldozers to move in on wishing well, with two poor defenceless children inside. I haven't signed anything like that. You thought it was a private health care. Always read what you're signing, Jim. Oh, look, if you think a piece of paper that you got him to sign under false pretenses will stand up in court, you're more deluded than I thought. Yeah. And what about the Dingle Court? They will tear him apart limb from limb when I tell them he signed the order. Oh, do your worst, posh boy. I've battered off more frightening flies than you. And I'll deny it. Then you really are stupid, aren't you? I've got proof, Jimmy. I've got all the paperwork locked up in a safe, and I intend to use it. You could go to prison for this. You made a bad decision getting on the wrong side of me. Still, enjoy the rest of your day. 